Hello, I'm Benjamin Hennig. I'm a professor of geography at the University of Iceland. I'm a geographer and I'm interested in social and spatial inequalities, in humanity's impact on Earth and in global sustainability. And I have a particular interest in the development of concepts for analyzing, visualizing and mapping these issues through the use of so-called uh, geographic information systems, remote sensing and cartographic methods. If we really want to achieve a green transition towards a more sustainable future, then it's essential to get citizens involved in the process of achieving this. This has probably become even more important in recent years, where democracy and democratic processes have been challenged repeatedly. Climate change, environmental degradation, loss of biodiversity, these are all challenges that don't stop at the national borders. So these are challenges that we need to tackle at a transnational level where countries must work together. I think Europe's diversity provides a great opportunity to come up with new solutions for some of these most pressing issues of our times. And it's usually the people, the citizens, it's you who have the best ideas and who can show politicians new pathways. This makes the Phoenix Project so important. We want to listen to people's voices and we want to understand their ideas and visions for a greener Europe. Such conversations and debates are crucial for a healthy democracy and therefore they are vital for creating a sustainable future that is fairer for all. Engaging people in the development and also in the implementation of green policies can help to ensure that these policies are well informed, effective and also fair. When people have a voice in the policy making process, they can share their own experiences and perspectives. They can raise their concerns and suggest alternative solutions. This can result in a much more vivid democratic process than just holding elections every few years. It connects people so much closer with the democratic processes. The results then are policies that reflect the diverse needs and the values of communities and this means that they have a greater chance of succeeding. Citizen engagement gives people a sense of ownership in policy making in a time where democracy is so much under stress like it has been in recent years. This can help to build or rebuild trust in governments, the democratic processes, and when people see that their voices are heard and that they result in action, then they regain confidence in their leaders and the democratic system. I think this brings stability and it reduces polarization that um, helps to ensure that democracy continues to thrive in the future. If you don't raise your voice, no one else will do it for you either. Participating in policy-making processes empowers you to shape your communities, to shape the society that you live in, and to help making policies that affect your lives. By engaging in participatory processes, you can have a say in the decision that impacts your lives and the lives of those around you. When you join participatory processes, your voice is added to the policies that are made. You can have an impact on making better policies that take your needs and your perspectives into account by sharing your experiences, raising your concerns and by suggesting alternative solutions that others might not have actually have thought about before. Every idea counts in this process. When you participate in these processes, you can play a part in holding politicians and decision makers to account for their actions. Participation and engagement are the best way to build a better future for everyone.